This has been a long time coming. This is He-Man Defender of Grayskull. I got a copy of this game like, I don't know, six, seven months ago. And basically the copy of the game was all fucked up. I thought it was the system, but it wasn't because I was able to uh, record, do a stream of that Inspector Gadget PAL game. And then I was like, oh, it's not the system. Um, and then the disc was spinning and shit. Anyway, that disc was fucked up. Um, let me grab it real quick just so I can show you. Okay, here I am. Uh, so here's the, here's the cover, and the game. This was this was the one that was fucked up. Um, the disc I got is like a demo disc, but apparently the whole game's on there. I hope the fucking whole game's on there. But I don't. Maybe it's fake or something. Cause like, look at the look at the back side of it. It's like purple. I don't know. And the other one isn't like that. The other one that I had in looks like a regular CD or something. But Anyway, so hopefully, so it should work. Um, hopefully it is the full version of the game, but regardless, this is He-Man Defender of Grayskull, and it's, uh, hey, what's up, uh, guys, what's up, Witch Knight? Mike Man, Master of the Universe, that is it. Um, is the Skeletor emote in? I should have done that. So, yeah, basically, there's not a lot of He-Man games out there. I played one for Game Boy Advance, which sucks. Um, there's like a Commodore 64 one, there's one for Atari, both of which aren't like very good. Um, I'm trying to think what other ones are out there. Uh, there's the Intellivision one, that's just like the Atari one. The Intellivision one's better. I mean, I think the game's alright, but it's not like, you know, anything crazy. Um, so, and then there's like a Kung Fu hack sprite swap thing, which is kind of cool actually, but, um, this, oh, also there's a fan game where they use the actual filmation. Um, effects and it's kind of like a beat em up. I streamed that a long time ago. That one's all right. I mean, for for being a fan game, um, but there, there's never been a great one. So I'm really I'm hoping this is at least for a piece for a PlayStation 2 era game. I'm hoping that this is at least okay. So we'll see. Uh, thank you, Scan King, for the sub. Appreciate it. Am I excited for the new live action movie? You know, I haven't heard any news on it in a long time, Mumra, but uh, I hope that it's, uh, I hope that it's good. Hon honestly, I hope it happens. That is one retro thing that really deserves a remake. And usually I'm not into the remakes, but I'd like to get for them to give it one shot because there has never been a feature film. The, the original movie sucks, and I'm a huge fan of the original cartoon and even the 2002 series. Like, those are good He-Man. That's good He-Man material. But as far as a film, there's never been a good one. So until they actually make a good He-Man film, I'm fine with them keeping doing that. See, for, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles... You know, the first 1990 film is amazing. Like, you can't even... You probably never get better than that, you know? Uh, you know, Batman. There's been plenty of great Batman movies, you know? So it's like, I'm good on, on those because there's been good movies. But, you know, even Star Trek. There's been plenty of great Star Trek movies, you know, and obviously great Star Wars movies. There's a lot of these franchises that I don't feel like need to go on. Back to the Future is another one. You can't get better than the Back to the Future original trilogy. You know, if they remake that, it's not gonna, it's gonna be bad if they do that. You know, there's no way you cannot have Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox, for example. It's just, it's not gonna work. Um, so, He-Man, though, is one of the rare exceptions where, yeah, I, I will definitely be interested in that. And also about that, that is something that actually does lend itself to CG. Um, they're like to to have like Eternia look the right way, and you know so, a lot of the you know magic and things. You know, it'd be cool if they did a lot of practical effects. But I actually, you know, this day and age, I wouldn't mind. You know, CG. It's just kind of like some of the characters, if they're actually going to get them to look like the characters, you know, like Beast Man and you know Trap Jaw and all these characters. I like. I I wouldn't even mind if it was. Um, honestly, you know what the, it, what, what would be awesome, um, maybe, uh, you know how they did the new Spider-Man movie, how, like, Mysterio looks and stuff, that, like, they should kind of, it'd be awesome if it was, like, that good, but I don't know who's gonna make it or anything like that, um, regardless, uh, I, uh, I, I am gonna get this started.
By the way, I have not played this at all yet, so I don't even know the controls or anything. So this is kind of like New Adventures of He-Man era, I guess. Worthless robots. They told me He-Man was attacked. See, he looks pretty good. We're trying to see what year this came out. Prince Adam, are you all right? Prince Adam. What happened? Is it based off the 2002 show? I actually, that's what I'm trying to find out right now. I'm trying to find out what year this came out. Oh, I think this came out in 2003. So yes, I guess so. Which, if that's true, that's awesome. Actually, I think it. I think it might be. I'll be there as soon as I can find I think it is. It definitely, actually, looking looking at it, it actually looks like it probably is. I mean, good, good start. Good start. I hope the game. I hope the game is good. All right, so it's all just X and different directions. Tap the L2 button when surrounded quickly to face the nearest enemy. Okay. All right. Uh, gone fishing. I'll have to catch this later. Been looking forward to this one. Have a good streak. Okay. Well, it'll be on YouTube. Gone fishing. So. But, uh, so the 2002 series, uh, I do, I do like, it's the only thing really besides the original show that, of He-Man that I do like. It's a more serious take. Uh, it's a more serious take on He-Man. I, I mean, I like the original cartoon. That's the classic thing. Like, that's the, that's the best He-Man thing, obviously, is the original cartoon. But if you're looking for anything else, uh, but honestly, though, like, most people haven't even watched the entire series of the original He-Man. Like, start there, you know? All right, let me see how this all works. All right, so. I wonder if I can change the layout. Oh my God, Ryan Walker. Hold up a second, hold up, hold up. Wait, can I do this? There, I can turn the music up on that one. Uh, thanks for gifting subs, Ryan Walker, too. This isn't my username. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. You, A242, Dr. Harley Quinn, Chasm Flaps, TJ, Sweets to the Sweet, the stream you deserve. This is the stream you deserve right here. He man. Dunder Mifflin Paper. Now that's a good name, Dunder Mifflin. Um, how about Michael Scott Paper Company? Why don't we have somebody in here name that? And Glengo, if you guys got a gift sub from Ryan Walker, please say thank you to him. Thanks, Ryan Walker, once again. All right, Ryan Walker's back. You haven't been around lately, Ryan Walker. What have you been up to? I don't, let me see. One thing about these, these controls, I don't... Let me see if I can switch them. I wanted to switch the buttons. Let me try this really quick and see what happens. I mean, I guess I'll just have to get used to that. It's weird. Okay, so that's block. I wish, I wish, uh, what's weird about this, so jumping is triangle 
and also it like, seems pretty delayed. And then X is, you know, using your sword. I kind of wish it was square to use the sword and, or like a square and X. They're not even utilizing, like I'm hitting X, they're not even utilizing X. And you can't change it. So at least vibration's off. As you guys know, I don't like that. Let me make sure I save that, okay. All right, regardless. Oops, okay. All right, here we go. Let's let's try this. <laughs> Am I gonna just be stuck and I can't get out? Oh boy. This is how we start this, huh? Wait, there we go. Now, this is like inconsistent volume too. I feel like when the cutscenes play, it's like a lot louder. That bottom bar does too. I don't know yet. Some kind of magic attack or something, I'm assuming. Did I like the new Adventures of He Man? You didn't know about it? Uh, no. I, I didn't like that. I did watch that a little bit when I was young. And I de definitely didn't like it, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, so that like energy whatever meter is full now, but I don't know how to use it yet. So we'll we'll see. When I see an enemy, I'll just start trying different buttons. Actually, you know what? Let's just not be stupid. Let me just look it up. Let's see. How do I use it? Holy shit, there's a lot of fucking controls in this. Oh my god. I'll, I will show this to you in a second. There are so many controls. Then there's Battle Cat. Okay, so wait, you can, we can ride Battle Cat later. So that's good. Sorry I'm taking this very slowly, but... Uh, okay, so there's Gray Skull power. These contain a fraction of the same mystical energies that throw through Gray Skull. That's cool. There's a good episode of the show, too. Uh, I think it's called, like, The King of Grayskull or something like that, where they actually, like, kind of ex explain... I guess not explain, but kind of show where the power of Grayskull comes from. And it's, like, all these sort of crystals that are below Castle Grayskull, at least in that series. Um, and when he when he man calls the power of gray skull it sort of like comes from all this magic underneath gray skull and like comes out so it, like the sword is almost like a lightning rod of power that like the power of gray skull gets sent to the sword and then goes into he man and that's how he becomes he man it's actually pretty cool but um how do you use this thing Actually, don't even see it. But I want to show you guys. Real, I want to show you these controls. Real, I should have read this beforehand. Look, look at the look at the amount of controls. Look at that. So I'm bad with combos and shit. So I'm probably gonna be bad at this game. <laughs> Mike's actually reading manual. I am. Well, a lot of times I don't have the manual, and I'm lazy, and I don't like to look it up online, so I don't usually do that. I know I can, but like a lot of times I'm just like, can I just like figure out how to play the game on my own? Because at the same time, a lot of the games I play are just like NES and stuff, where it's like two buttons, and you can, you know, you can mostly figure it out on your own. But something like this is a little more. All right, is this a button that I can hit? Let's see. I guess not. Okay. Can I 
I do anything here? I'm assuming maybe I can find this key just hidden in one of these things or something. not even a button. Okay, I have no fucking clue what to do. Let's see. Damn. Oh, these things just respawn, huh? Alright, cool. So I'm a minute into this, and I'm already stuck. Great. All right, I'm gonna take suggestions from the chat because I don't know what to do. <laughs> Anybody got any ideas? A fine orco, yeah. Hit coffins, coffins. Thinking that this thing's a coffin. Maybe I can like jump up here. Like, the fuck? Do a barrel roll. Look at look at I just like went into the wall for a second. It's not gonna happen again. Buttons on the walls. Yeah, but I don't know how do you hit them. I'm gonna try every fucking button. Let's see. Fucking, there you go. It was square. So square does do something. All right. Never mind. I guess I didn't hit square before. My bad. At least we figured it out. All right. What other one is down? These ones that got to be opened up. The fuck? It worked a second ago. That one doesn't want to work. So th this now is a roll, apparently. Okay, so never mind. So it did it, the fucking X, the square button does do something. It's a roll. For some reason, it wasn't doing nothing before. All right. Well, I'm learning. So there was nothing in here. Actually, was it this side that I opened? Fuck. Now, why doesn't this open now? Maybe I'm not on the... What the fuck? I swear to God, the square button opened it before. Now it doesn't work. Where did you, the He-Man? What? Just press the do button. Yeah, really. All right, let's look up controls on opening a door. Square, button, action. Well, that's what I fu uh, I'm fucking hitting. It doesn't open. 
Alright. The graphics look really drab. Yeah, and you know what? I um, increased the uh, bright brightness and the um, saturation a little bit to make it look better for you guys. For what I'm looking at looks even worse, actually. Can I put the sword away? Good question. But it did, oh, it did push the button even with the sword out, so. I don't see a thing to do that. Turn back to Adam. Brighten the screen more, even more. I'll, I'll try. I pro I can. How's that? So, if anybody wants to like follow along on a fucking YouTube playthrough and help me, that would be good, because I don't think I'm ever getting out of this room. The fuck do you do? There's like... So I can walk in the, in this one anyway. So this side doesn't fucking matter. That doesn't matter. I can already get in there. This side I can't get to. So this this one right here is the only one I can't do. And it looks like there's something in there. And it also looks like there's enemies in there. So that has to be where I need to go. But I can't open it. There's got to be some kind of... Motherfucker. I didn't see this. Well, there it is. Maybe I can, you know, I wonder if I can turn my screen brightness up because it's so dark. I literally can't fucking barely see this. Sorry, I should have done all this before the stream. I'm sorry, I'm, set, I'm trying to fix the brightness on the TV first, so that this isn't awful the whole fucking game. Oh my god, this is so much better. I should have done that earlier. Alright, there we go. He's like taking a rest. Alright, now it's better for me too. Now I can see more. There we go. Alright, so I got the key, finally. Now the brightness thing isn't going off the screen. Kill me, just kill me. There. Finally. Man, that was a big thing in the PS2 era, is, is like brightness on a lot of the games are, were not bright enough. Have you guys found that too? That a lot of PS2 games are like really fucking dark? Guess I can't. Oh my god, the vo fucking volume in this game is the most inconsistent thing. Alright, you can't hit the do button on that. But I have another key, so I guess I'm going to the other side. How do I feel about He Man these days and its influence? Um, there's not enough He Man really out there to have much of an influence. Unfortunately, I mean they're still making the toys, which is cool. There's a lot of um, like Mattel still does stuff with it, which is which is nice to see. Hopefully they end up making a new movie. Um, yes, I wish wish to save. So I'm gonna go through that shit again. Yes, I had to adjust my TV settings to look like the PS2 emulator. Might do collect any toys. Uh, I have a lot of toys. I have too many. And a lot of He Man toys. Oh shit, okay. Oh my god, those are the actual fucking beast things from the original cartoon. Well, yeah, and you know what? To be fair, the 2002 show actually used a lot of. Um, stuff from the original cartoon. Alright, 
I need to figure out how the fuck you use this extra special attack thing. I don't know. I didn't even see it in the instructions either. I'm sure it's in there, but... Yeah, those, those guys are definitely, like, in the show. What do I think of the game so far? It, uh, it's all right so far. Now that I have the brightness up, I can see. See this? This is the power of Grayskull. And that's the shit on the blue. And it does, like, literally, L, R. Let's do buttons together. <sighs> Select. Triangles jump. This is hit buttons. X is this. Circle. I'm gonna look it up again. Two handed sword requires power of gray skull. So, like. X and square together, or basically X and triangle, X and square, X and circle. Let's see if any of that works. I think that's what the shit they want you to do. Alright, let's try this. Oh, I guess it is bringing down that meter a bit, huh? Okay, yeah, it did. So it's basically a combo attack thing. And look at my life. I'm, like, gonna die. Where did that fucking guy go? I could use something that gives me life. I guess he... Oh, there he is. Give me life. Give me life. Give me life. Fucker. All right, so it's used for combo attacks. Which sucks because I suck at that. Oh, jeez. So one of the moves is, is... Okay, triangle. Actually, that makes sense. I thought one of the moves was square and circle, and I was like, how am I going to do that? But it's not. Oh, fuck. Is this? Oh, that's so. The shield is saving data. I need the acid pit key. Now, why the fuck did we not get this game in the states? I mean, maybe He Man was more popular overseas, but I think the 2002 series was was popular enough here. Like people people like that show. I, I knew if like people would talk about that show when it was on. And one good thing about that show is they like they didn't keep it on so long that like it started to get bad or anything, or, or you know. So it was kind of good that it ended where it did, I think, because it probably would have got shitty if they kept it on too long. This should have a map. I don't think so. I can't even fucking tell. It's all just like a brown mess of shit. Alright, I've definitely been here, so I guess we're going this way. Oh man, this is going to take me forever. What did I think of 2011 Thundercats? Uh, it was not the worst thing in the, that I've ever seen, but it was not very good. I was very lukewarm on it. Some of the episodes were like, some of the episodes were better than others. It was mostly, I mostly didn't really like it, but it was, it was like, it was, they tried, it was all right. 
Unfortunately, it wasn't that great. It's like, I don't think they need to do another one. Like, I'm good on, there we go. I'm good on that. Like, we have the original show. It's like. If they were gonna do anything with Thundercats, I think that they should do a Netflix thing. Like what they did with that. I'd like to see them do, you know what they did for the Spider-Verse thing? Just do one like two hour movie animated. Try to make it really fucking good. And that's it. Just do one really good one. Not a fucking series or anything. Not like a not not like some live action piece of shit in the theaters. Just like just do one Netflix cartoon and that's it. That's it. that's about the only thing I want to say. If they if they were going to do something. But I don't even I don't even care if they do anything. So I guess killing the enemies actually just brings back your health, is what it is. Or sometimes it does. So I need to be, like, doing this shit, I guess. Fuck, I'm gonna get killed. Oh, what?! See, this is a bad camera angle. shit I remember seeing the section the guy playing it didn't like it says cutesy come yeah well you know what I'm not liking this section at all I'm gonna pl I'm gonna give this game a really good shot though because you know I love the for He-Man franchise so much sometimes you know what happens with games is the game starts shitty and then gets better so but I will say, like, a lot of times I'm, like... <sighs> a lot of times, if a game starts like shit, I don't want to go very far with it. Because it's like, why are you going to play a game that... You know, if it's shit from the beginning... You, you should have a strong start to your game. This is, like... If the game starts really good, then, like, if you're, like three-fourths of the way into it and then there's like one shitty level or something it's like you, that's more a little bit more acceptable i guess but starting the game with a shitty level is is really not acceptable oh, i don't keep going the wrong way these camera angles are terrible i just want to say and th like this is one hit deaths so, it's like... Alright, now where the hell was that key? I got it before. It was the some prison key or some something. And I, now, I, I also don't know how far it sent me back, so whatever. Anybody remembers where that key was? Let me know. <sighs> What's up, Maverick? Thank you, Kevin MTM. I appreciate it. Also, Kevin MTM, thanks for the sub. 
All right, here we go. Who had the key? Who has the key? Why are there guys back here now? Like. Anybody remember where that fucking key was? I'm definitely gonna need you guys to help me through this. <laughs> this is like, it all looks the same. Cutting edge 3D graphics. Yeah, it's great. Thanks, Justin Garber. Yeah, there's gonna be some couch slapping moments here. For sure. I can tell already. Thanks, Cochran, for the sub. I have no fucking clue. I should have been paying more attention before. Maybe the key is on hard section. Yeah. I don't know. Well, there was a door blocking me, though. Like, this door. Unless I, do I already have it? Like, no, nah, this would automatically open if I had it. So. not breakable okay I guess not some of these crates you can break some you can't cool it was in a box okay thank you that's helpful 184 appreciate that very much see I was barely paying attention because I didn't think I was gonna have to remember where it was There's a silver one. Oh, oh, there's a silver box. Okay, that's helpful too. Silver box, silver box, silver box. Why the fuck was there not a ma good Masters of the Universe game on NES? That is the question of the century. century. Why the fuck doesn't somebody just make one, like hack one? This is another question. What about in here? Wasn't it wasn't in the cell? Was white silver box outside the cells? Okay. So back this way, I guess. Thank you, drunken I am, sir, for subbing. One reskin one of those other great games on the NES. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So, I don't see any fucking box. Wait. Damn. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought I just saw something in here. Damn it! What about this? No? I really thought that was gonna be it. Fuck is it? <laughs> yeah.
you are looking for Granny's pussy in a silver box. Silver box. Yeah, there you go. I should have got to that. Or, oh my god. Yes! Fucking Jesus. Thank God. Well, now we know. Everybody remember that. That's where it is. It's in like the middle area in a silver box if I die again, which I very well might. I did not think I was gonna have to fucking remember that. Now I know exactly where it is. Or 90%. <laughs> Thank God, now there's this shit again. All right, all right, all right. The camera ankles on this blow. All right, here we go. Oh my God. This is frustrating because it's like, these are the worst camera. This is the worst game. You know, okay, I want to talk about something that sucks. So, with this, I want, like, more of an overhead angle. So, here's something you can do. With the right control stick, you, you move the camera around like this, right? But something you would think would be really good is that if you go like this, right, you can get a little bit more of an overhead angle, which would be great for this section. What would be even better is if you could get a really good bird's eye angle, like Zelda, um, but watch what happens. So we're here right now. This is as high up as it can go. Come on, fucking stand up. This is as high up as it can go. Now watch this. I start moving forward, and it goes back to the other position. Like, so this shit is only to, like, get a kind of a look, and then you start moving again, and it goes exactly back to how it was. That sucks. That's one. The <sighs> so you know what? Here's what I should do. I'm gonna go over here, and then I'm gonna kind of kind of walk this way. thing what my fucking arm grazed it master of the universe my ass can't fucking get his arm grazed and it Only the penitent man will pass. Well, I'm not fucking penitent, I guess. More like ass master of the universe. Yeah, that's right. And then there's the loading times. Oh, this is gonna be the stream from hell. Oh, I haven't gotten anywhere. There's probably speedrunners who already beat the game in the time I've been playing, and I'm like, nowhere. I'm literally like nowhere. Now I gotta get the fucking key again. At least we know where it is. It's in gram grandma's fucking box. Granny's silver box. I'm gonna use that joke over and over. That isn't even my joke. I stole it from somebody in the chat. Thank God. All right, we know where, I see, I know exactly where it is now. That's at least a time saver. Look at me, I remembered something. And now I have four lives. I have four lives to die through this next part. It, if I do make it, it better fucking save it right after that, because... What can possibly go wrong? Jesus. By the way, just so you guys know, I bought a modded PlayStation 2 just to play this game. Look at this, look at this bangle. All right, that's two. Fuck! Does it start me at 
the beginning every time? right here. Okay, let's really look at this. Boom. Boom. Two. Three. Alright. So, by the way, they want you to stop at that gray line every time. this I made it. Master of the universe. I am also a master of constipation. He-Man this badly. It's He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. One of the greatest franchises of all time. How do they fucking fucking And this is what you get. Why do all He-Man games suck a fucking dick? No, no. No, no, no! This is shit. Time to turn on your television? Yeah. They fucking He-Man and television games better. You know what, though? Maybe when I get to, like, level two or something, maybe it'll get better. That's my hope. See, I'm holding out hope for this game because I really want a good He-Man game. I would like to be able to say later... Like, okay, the game has a really bad start, but it gets great. So so I'd love to be able to say that. So I'm going to really try. M maybe it becomes amazing. I'm, ho I'm holding out hope. I really am holding out hope. But yeah, definitely a bad start. Unfortunately. What it, if anybody wants to wants to um, look up the ratings of this game? If anybody has any interest in doing that, because I I would love to know what other people think about this game. 
that aren't me. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm being unfair, but... says two out of five let me look at others okay that's the first one I've seen <clears throat> IGN has it at 6.8 really all right well I mean that... isn't IJ, IGN, IGN the one that usually gives everything like an eight at the worst <laughs> like IGN is like if a game's uh, IGN scale is like Six is like, like Bart's nightmare. Actually, is IGN old enough that they have a score for Bart's nightmare? Somebody go like, when did they start rating games? I would love to know IGN's Bart's nightmare score. Somebody try to figure that out if that was even a thing at the time, because I don't even know when they started. Core tr Tran says six point eight on IGN is like a one. So here's an idea for, see, I don't rate games, but since we're talking about IGN who does rate games, he, here's how you do rating. Uh, zero is Bart's Nightmare, or su zero is Superman 64. Um, Bart's Nightmare, I'm actually gonna give like a one because I, I kind of like the, the graphics to a degree. I mean, they're not the most amazing thing ever, but they tried on the graphics. And the gameplay is interesting, at the very least. I mean, it's very flawed ex execution, but at least it's an interesting idea. So because of that, I am not gonna give the, that game a zero. But Superman 64 is probably a fucking zero, you know? Now, 10 is like Batman on NES or something, you know? Or like Pocky and Rocky is probably a fucking 10. 2.4 on Game Facts. Okay. Is PS PS2 retro now? Uh, you know, that's a whole nother conversation. Hey, anyway, let me do this. <sighs> go back, go back. You don't need that ghost image behind you. I, so like, oh, I am past where that thing before me is. You don't need that ghost image since I'm past it. It's only a distraction to what I'm trying to do right now. Well, Master of the Universe, He-Man, Defender of Grayskull was delayed several times and wound up only making it out on PlayStation 2 and only in Europe. So the devs knew this was shit, so they only released it in Europe. Well, that makes sense. See, I didn't know because I hadn't played the game yet. It's far, 
far cry from being good. But, you know, it's PS2. It's, it's not the, it's not the worst. The combat is not the biggest problem here. At least not yet. Oh my god, thank you, god. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright. Fucking please tell me I, I'm through that. Give me a save spot game, please. Yes! Give me a shield save spot, for the love of fucking Christ. Is that a shield? Damn! Alright, that guy's dead. Now what? Okay. Oh wait, is there an, wait, is there an opening here? So, uh, do I have to jump over this thing? They're gonna make me jump over this rail. Huh, that's not good. Okay, here it comes, here it comes. Okay. Oh, all right. No. Okay, maybe I can do this. Oh my God. Well, can I ride it through? Probably not. So I have to do this. How many lives do I have? Two. Okay. Oh my god, I'm still alive. Okay, good, good, good. This is fine. I think. Alright. What's this? Key? Yes. We're making progress. That doesn't, that's nothing. Come on, He-Man, what the fuck? You're, how weak is he? He better get, like, upgraded. Some shit. You know, I'm not using the power grace all that much, but oh boy. Oh. That's the shield! Can I get in between these, or do I have to just fucking make it? If this is one hit death, I'm gonna fucking freak. Oh my god, I made it. Oh my god, I made it. Thank you. Thank you, God. Whew. Did that say it saved, by the way? I thought I had to click yes for it to save. I guess it was, like, auto-saved. Oh, it does auto-save? Okay. I should have been paying attention right there. I wasn't looking. Fuck, don't knock me over. You wish you were Skeletor. You'll never be. Did they come back to life? Oh wait, did that just open? No. It's kind of like Zelda, where if you kill all the enemies in the room, I've escaped the cells of doom. Yay. <sighs> Thank you, God. Where are all the evil warriors from Skeletor as enemies? I'm sure there'll probably be bosses, like the main dudes, which is fine. That, that should be. That's actually good. That's actually the way it should be. Because if you went through and it was like 500 beast man, it wouldn't make sense. Beast men, you know, or whoever, Trap Joe and all those guys. They should they should be bosses, I would hope. 
Is this where I was, or... Wait. Oh, wait, fucking... Wait, wait, give me a chance. I guess I'm not going back here, so that's good. Alright, here we go. Good. Alright. So far, so good. Alright, well, I hope the game gets better now. Sheer replayable? I don't know. That would be great. Probably not. See, I, don't, I don't always know what's breakable and what isn't. How about this shit? No. <sighs> I guess they want me to climb this and jump over. so clean as my burger machine thanks Gilmore 950 again for that sub You know what? There's not enough like music in this game. That's another thing. How about like <gasps> Just thought of it. You guys know what's coming. music they should have. What are they doing? So much better already. Am I right? <laughs> this is totally what it should be. Unfortunately. Um, where do I go now? How do I get up there? You can't climb. Oh, duh. okay, there you go. Look how smart I am. Did I get through that part? I did. Nothing so clean as my burger machine. The McDonald's song is really catchy, I know. I know I'm not putting Elmo on. We're we're all done with Elmo.
EA He-Man is not an online shooter. Actually, like a He-Man, like Gradius style game where he's in the fucking Wind Raider would be actually awesome. Or like that other thing. The, um, you know that little like blue thing he rides on? There's like the fucking attack truck or whatever. Not the attack track, but there's, I don't think, there's another thing and then the, like the little red missile shoots out of it. But then that'll detach and then He-Man can fly on that thing too. Does any He-Man fan know what that thing is called? Because that would be a cool thing for him to ride on if there was ever a He-Man uh, shooter game. Is that Skeletor's throne? I guess I can like jump out of here now if I hit like this maybe that raises that whatever the fuck that is and then maybe this will be everything okay now how do I get out of here can I sit in the throne hang on hang on hang on Did that actually do something? Wait a second. Oh my god, I think I think sitting in the chair actually did open that, didn't it? I don't know where all these motherfuckers went, but I'm gonna go back and try to kill some of these. Where did they all go, actually? Are they still here? What the fuck happened? They're all, like, gone? What the hell? That's more health, right? Where'd they all go? What is this? What is happening? This is like they're feeding, I guess. That takes me back. I'm gonna save that there because I might be able to use that later. I don't know where all those monsters went. Thank you, Ancient Dragon, for the sub. Oh, shit! Shouldn't have been reading. That was my bad. Oh my god, that was close. I should go back and get that thing. Maybe I will. Uh oh. Still waiting on Robocop versus Terminator, Sega Genesis stream. I know how different. I don't know how. Hang on a second. I don't know how different it is from each platform, but I played it on the Super Nintendo growing up. Uh, uh huh. Wait, you want. Wait, 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 wait. You went on. 
Oh, you're saying yours was on Super Nintendo. Hang on a second. I'll get the cartridge. Let me let me see. Uh, cause, um, let me see the Sega Genesis card, and we'll find out if it's the same thing. All right, I have it, so I don't know if it's the same as the Super Nintendo one, or maybe somebody in the chat can answer, but here's screenshots from it. Does that look like the same thing as the uh, Super Nintendo game, or similar? Maybe somebody knows. Andrew Ray says it's a different game. Oh, okay. So I'd have to get the Super Nintendo one. I don't, I'd have to look through my carts, but um, I don't think I have it. It's close. Well, anyway. Should I go back and try to get the help? Oh fuck, you shooting me? Yeah, I'm going back, I'm gonna go back. Let's see if I can get, I can get the help. Like fucking cutting out. Man, that's a game. That's a fucking ass. Alright. Well, there's health, which once again, I kind of want to leave. Do these break open? I'm gonna have to get like a key from the fucking guy back here, right? Son of a bitch, where are you? Oh, here he is. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. Is he coming here? Where's the other dude shooting at me, too, by the way? He's over there. <sighs> I need to take out the dude shooting me, too. Just save, that's right.
This is where Mike learns the block. This music so poor. Wait, what? That's not health? What is that then? What? What the hell is that shit? Hang on a second. Oh, it's points? The fuck cares about points? And by the way, it looks like a fucking medical, like. I know it's like the fucking He-Man logo or whatever, but like, come on. That's shits for the birds. Oh, I fucking, I got him anyway, I think. Thank God. Sorceress, what does this mean? It is as if Skeletor has discovered some way of channeling the natural mystic powers of planet Eternia to himself. How is it possible? I do not know, Peter, but you must discover how he is doing this and stop it immediately. Skeletor is more powerful now than he's ever been. If Grayskull falls, the Orb of the Elders and all the power of Grayskull will be his. Skeletor will be unstoppable and all of Eternia will be his. Don't worry, I won't fail. I'm sorry. What what did the sorceress just say that he man or that Skeletor is doing? What like what was the power that he got? Something he got not the power of Grayskull because he wants the power of Grayskull and Grayskull will fall. She said. But what is what is it that he has that's making him more powerful? Did anybody hear it or does anybody know? Starbucks. <laughs> Fuck. Nobody knows. I want to know. I wish I would have heard it. <laughs> He's got... A Skeletor's pulling a boner. He man, Skeletor has a huge cock. His power cannot be underestimated. Uh, my chat. He man can light a fart. Well, with that little robe he has on, I'm sure it wouldn't be a problem. Well, they gave me my health back. That's nice to know. enemies and they just disappear. The way they really do it well is in Wind Waker, when the enemies disappear and they go into that sort of purple poof of smoke. I don't think any game ever did it better than that. Really. The combat makes me want to bleach my eyeballs, says Chris. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. question I've never asked my chat. What video game do you think has the best combat? 
and I'm gonna get in before somebody says Karate Champ. And, and, and like a serious question, what game do you guys actually feel has the best combat of all games that you played? I, I'm actually really curious. So God Hand, Devil May Cry 3. We got another one for, we got two for Devil May Cry. Batman Arkham Asylum. Okay, so that I played. Um, oh, Arkham Asylum and not Arkham City. Okay. No, oh, another person said Arkham City. A lot of Arkham City people. Um, Bayonetta, Star Wars Battlefront. I, I didn't. I, I I didn't like Star Wars Battlefront, but to each their own. Dynasty Warriors 8, Dark Souls. I mean, I do love Dark Souls. Um, another one for Batman Arkham. Doom 2016. Uh, not not so much for me, but uh, you know. Thanks, Ryan Walker. I'll, I'll get it. Um, Breast of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, it's, isn't it great when your sword breaks? I just, I love that. It's so It's so great. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Yeah. Did, I think I did a video on that. <laughs> that game was fucking cock. Okay, a lot of people saying Bayonetta. Ninja Gaiden 1 and 2 are also great. I'm assuming you mean the Xbox game. See, okay, Ninja Gaiden, the one where you can use the nunchucks, I fucking love that. And I want to I want to do that again at some point. Dude, what are you even reading? I'm reading the chat, Deep Blue. I'm reading your comment. Devil May Cry. Another for Devil, Devil May Cry 5. A lot of people are saying Devil May Cry 5. Should I try that game? Tanuki Jumpman says he's also not a fan of Battlefront. Okay. Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Okay. Skylanders. Double Dragon. I, you know what? I like Double Dragon, but the combat is like the whatever. Ninja Gaiden Black on 360. Yeah. Let, I, I want to, I've been really thinking about that. Let me, real, real quick, let me find that. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna be back in a second. So, so this one, right? This isn't this the one that has the nunchucks? I don't see it on the back of the box, but I fucking love that. Um, I never beat this game, but I remember really liking this game. Um, at some point, I'm gonna stream this, right? Is this this is the right one, right? Mike Skeletor eat shit and die. <laughs> yeah. This, okay, it is this one. Okay, I was just making sure. I'm gonna leave this out. I wanna play that again sometime. Oh, yo, wait, one, one more question about this. So, should I play this on the actual Xbox? Or, should, or is there a better way to play Ninja Gaiden Black? Like, this version of it. Um, 
like, is this available on anything, like, more modern that would have a better fucking controller? Because the, the Xbox fucking controllers are ass. Is there another way to play this game? Red Hot God says original Xbox. Have I played the DS Ninja Gaiden game? It sucks? No, I don't think I have. You can get it on 360 or the Sigma version. See, no, a lot of people have said the black version is the better one to do, though. It's on Xbox One with backwards compatibility. Oh, like I can play, is it? Wait, Xbox One has back, backwards compatibility with the, an original Xbox game? Is that true? Or do you mean it's downloadable on it? Okay, d okay, wow, well I haven't broken out my Xbox One in a long time. That'd be, give me a good, uh, don't I have the redesigned Xbox controller? I do, I have the Xbox One Elite. Oh, it downloads it automatically onto it. Interesting. Let me, I'm gonna put a post-it note on this because I'm gonna forget, because that's great information. Thank you guys. Let me just write this down really quick. Maybe I should do So they're coming out with that new Xbox One Elite controller. It's like the next version of it. I mean, I could just do it, but I wonder how much better that, that, I think they were showing that off at a convention. Has anybody been to a game con where they, and got a chance to use the new Xbox controller, if that was actually a thing? Because I know, I think it's November when that comes out. I'm actually excited for that. I hope it's, I hope it's an even better version of the Elite controller. Like, I hope it's actually improved somehow. Um, thank you for the sub, Bessa. All right, let me get back to the game. That's your new favorite comment? It was funny. You can, gotta be careful though, Mike. The emulation isn't always perfect. Uh, well, true. All right, let's get back to He-Man. All right, well, that's a lot of good information. Thank you, guys. Do we have a boss now? We do. Meh. <laughs> Voice acting's not good. <laughs> I saw your laboratory, Triclops. I don't know what kind of insane theory you're working on. Nothing theoretical, He-Man. It's happening right now as we speak. My sci-fi towers have been set up throughout the evergreen forest where the latent mystical power of Planet Attorney is at its strongest. I could go on, but you aren't worth wasting my breath. My doom seekers, however, will enjoy the sport. Yeah, which night? Hopefully there will be more. Um, I don't know if there's like more really good exclusive like PAL games that are worth playing, but there, there's probably something. Where is he? Did he like run away? Like what's going on? Or maybe he's in here. Okay, wait, hey. just keep spawning. 
What's this? Is this like a button to push down? No. Did the game like glitch out? Like, isn't this Triclops supposed to be here, but he isn't? Like, that's not opening. It looks like I should almost be able to get up there somehow. Uh, Is this supposed to be like a Triclops fight and it fucked up? Okay, um... There's probably something that I'm not figuring out. What do, what do I not know here? Let's see. What about over here? What is this? It's the background. I thought... Well, I really thought Triclops was... This was gonna be like a fight right here, right? I mean, he was talking to me. Is Gilbert Godfrey gonna be a guest on James and Mike Mondays? No. That would have been cool, but that was not, that was shot in New York City. So, no. Maybe I just have to kill enough of these, and then it'll open, like. Mike needs some sub love. That'd be great. Oh my god! All right, all right. Let's do that, and then we're gonna figure figure out what happens with uh, Cyclops. Um, again, that's not loud. All right, let's do Donald Duck again. There we go. I gotta fix my. I gotta fix this Twitch switch, man. Um, all right, Ryan Walker, thanks for gifting subs to Mag33205, Fancy Sunset, Wanted Dead, RJ64, Mayor Sheriff, Denzin Allen, Untouchable, Digibomb Gaming, Atomic Dropper, and Super Unknown 089. If you guys got a gift sub from Ryan Walker, please say thank you to him. And um, speaking of the Twitch Switch, I got a little something uh, special for you guys today. I know you're a robot, but you're a girl, and I don't even let my mom see me in my underwear. Would you please turn your head? Turn my head. Oh, it's Harriet. What a classy show. Well, the truth is, Vicky's my, uh, my cousin. Show so fucking horrible. I am not a dumb robot. Yes, you are. Ha 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 ha. See how she. I can see I'm going to have nothing but trouble with you. Ugh. Travel. All right, and since everybody does not want to see that, including me, maybe we can find something a little bit. Maybe we can find something a little bit better than that. How about? Okay, class pop quiz. Question number one: You want to buy a video game system? Super NES gives you four free games. Sega gives you no free games. Which do you choose? Uh, number two: uh, Robert Brown's four chickens to trade for a video game system. Super NES gives you four free games. Sega no free games. Which should Robert Brown choose? I remember that commercial from back in the day. I remember seeing that on TV. Speaking of Mario. <laughs> No wonder the best play here. 
You know how they had the Super Mario Brothers 3 cartoon and the Super Mario World cartoon? Wouldn't it have been awesome if there was a Super Mario Kart cartoon just like that commercial? That would have been cool. That was something we missed out on that they didn't make. They should still make it. That'd be great. Do a Netflix Super Mario Kart series, Nintendo. There's something. Everybody's always like, well, if they did Legend of Zelda, then, you know, they'd have to give Link a voice and blah, 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 blah. And nobody wants to see the Legend of Zelda cartoon because they would fuck it up and whatever, most likely. But Mario Kart, why not have a Mario Kart cartoon? I, I'd, I'd try that. Mike, I'd love to see you do a live stream dressed up as the loco bandito. Well, how about Elmo instead? What if I get a, an Elmo? See, an Elmo mascot costume would be probably much easier to get. Or I could do Bugs Bunny. Who else could I do? I could do He-Man. I could rip my shirt off. But I'd have to get that fucking X fucking thing. The Mario cartoon was the shit. It was, it was, it was good. I liked the um, live action stuff with... Um, What's it called? Uh, Captain Lou Albano. And I like the old, like, Cindy Lauper things and stuff. I am going to actually... So, with this game, I'm going to look up... I think this game might be glitched and I, or something, and I want to figure out what's happening. I want to know if Triclops is supposed to be here. If anybody has ever played this game this long. All right, let's see. All right, this guy's on Triclops. He's right where I am. Let's see if, let's see if Triclops comes out. Wait. Okay, you know what I think it is? I think... I think you just have to kill enough of these things and then it might open. Actually, I've already killed like 19 fucking thousand of these things, though. Are you kidding me? How many do you have to kill? You know what they should have done? They should have had a counter on screen that's like, let's say you have to kill 50 of them. Oh, you know what the problem is? I probably wasn't listening to what he said because I was talking about how the voice acting was bad. Let's... He doesn't. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't say anything about that. You have to kill a bunch of them, and you can barely hear his, what he's fucking saying. So okay, now I don't blame myself. Now that I heard that again, so. Let's just kill a lot of these fucking things, and then the door should open. I think. didn't listen for long enough well I could first of all I can barely understand what he's fucking saying uh, I'm sorry it's just like let's hear it again you can't even fucking hear it
All right, here it is again. <sighs> so my robots were something. I can't understand what he's saying. No challenge in battling you anymore now that now that power is drained. The robots come out. That's it. I saw your laboratory. I don't know what kind of insane theory you're working on. That's everything it says. That doesn't fucking answer anything. Wait, did it just open? It just opened. How many of the... Oh my god. Okay, so... Oh man, this game. There, there should be a counter on screen. How many of them did I kill? Like 50? It should say 50 out of 50, you know? And then 41 out of 50. There should be a fucking counter. As you fucking kill them. And he doesn't fucking say anything. As far as I could hear. Not that you can barely fucking hear his voice, because the voice acting is so fucking low. They could have you know, they could have put subtitles on the screen so you can hear what they're fucking saying. God forbid. You know what? Wait, wait, wait. Maybe there is there subtitles. No, there's not. Of course there's not. Nope. There's no option for subtitles. Fuck. Mike, why don't get a PS3 fat controller to play PS2 games instead of a modded PS2, the emulation off PS3 backwards compatibility feature? I have a fat uh, PS3 console, um, actually, but this is a PS2 PAL game, so does the fat PS3 play uh, PAL games? That PS3 is hard to find. I have like at least three PS3s in this house. I have that one where the top of it like slides and then I have that fat model um, and then there's another like more regular looking one. How many fucking models of the PS3 were there actually? I wonder if I have all the different models. That's another thing. I could I could get those out and show you guys. There was a lot. A lot. There was a lot of PS3 models for the PlayStation on your remote. Anybody? Anybody have any idea how many PlayStation models? There were. What, like, let's say, if you don't know exactly, was there more than three? Was there more than five? Like, how, like generally, how many models were there? Something just opened. Oh, one of those previous doors probably just opened. Like five? Chronic Gamer says there was about five. That's interesting. I should get every PS3 model. I'm trying to get like every fucking console that ever existed. I don't know if I want to get every version of every console that ever existed, but I'd like to like, for PS3, like I'd like to own one PS3, which I do, I have three of them actually. But I'd love to get every console. I should count them, actually. I don't know how many I have. You want to find out? Actually, I have, a, I have a list on my computer. Should we find out how many consoles I have? 
All right. Oh, there we go. People always ask me, they're like, Mike, how many games do you have? I don't fucking know how many games I have. That would take, like, a long time to count them all. But consoles, we could actually do right now. Let me get to this door. Then maybe I'll do that. And also, so I'm gonna, I'll list all my consoles and we'll count them. Because I do have a list. And then after that, you guys can tell me consoles that I don't have that I should get. That's what we'll do in a minute. And another thing about it, I'm not collecting like, I mean, I mean like, fuck, I mean like real consoles. Not like, like I wouldn't, I'm not counting like a fucking twin, uh, what are those things called? Those fucking like, like ret like a Retron 3 or something, or, or one of those fucking things. Like I don't even count that, because that's not even a real fucking, you know, something like sold by a real com company, you know? Fuck is this exit? Here we go. Here we go. All right, now that it's saved, I'm gonna do that. All right, so give me a minute, I'm gonna get a list, and then we're gonna do that. So I can get through this boring ass He-Man game. I'll take breaks <laughs> so I can fucking get through this fucking game. I'll be right back.
okay, sorry, I had to print out a list. So, here we go. Um, I think I have them all listed on here, but I mean, I might have missed a few, so we'll see. Uh, but I think this is 99% of them. Thank you, Wolfbane17. Um, how am I liking what, Wolfbane? What is that? Oh, you mean Super Mario Maker. Uh, Super Mario Maker 2. It's I, really good. It's my favorite game on the Switch. All right, here we go. So, uh, the 3DO. This pen sucks. Amiga CD32. Atari 2600. Atari 5200. Atari 7800. Atari Jaguar. Uh, Atari XEGS. Bally Astrocade. Fairchild Channel F. The, sec the second one, actually, I have. Uh, Famicom Disk System. Famicom Model 2, the top loader one. The FM Towns Marty. Out of sync. Am I out of sync? Blah, 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 blah. Um, GameCube. Intellivision. Television 2. JVC XI. Sync is fine. Oh, okay. Uh, laser Active, which that fucking the Laser Active is shit. LGN Video Art, which is, which is even more shit. Uh, the Mega Jet. N64, the HDMI mod, uh, and the N64, the Japanese model. Uh, the N the NES, the regular front front loader. Uh, the uh, did I write down top loader? Like, okay, I also have the top loader, so I, I don't know if I'm gonna count that. Uh, Neo Geo AES, Neo Geo CD, the Odyssey 2, uh, the PC Engine CD ROM ROM system, not CD ROM squared, PC FX. Philips CDI, oh, the greatest console of all time. Ugh. PS1, the Japan modded one for that I got for Pepsi Man. Uh, the PS2 PAL modded, which is this one that we're playing today. PS3, see, I have three models of it, at least. So, again, like, I don't know if I should count it as three or just one. Uh, the PS4, and I think I have the other one, the PS4 Pro. So, I, I'm, see, I might have two of those. See, that's why this list is, like, iffy. Uh, R-Zone. Is that even counted as a fucking console? Uh, oh, I didn't... I don't have Hyperscan written down. Okay, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll write that at the end. All right. Uh, Sega Genesis. Obviously, Sega Genesis Model 2. Um, Sega Genesis Model 3. Sega Mark 3. Sega CD Model 1. Uh, Sega CD Model 2. Uh, Sega Dreamcast. That's 40. Up, well, from what I'm counting here, so it might be like a little higher than that. Uh, Sega Master System, 41. Sega Mega Drive, 42. Sega Saturn, 43. SNES, 44. Super Acan, 45. You guys that follow my Patreon know about the Super Acan. Uh, the Switch is 46. 47 is the Turbo Duo. 48 is Turbo Graphics 16. Uh, 49, and then I see, and then I have the Christmas um, Turbo Graphics as well. So I guess that's two. I think that's Japanese though. So see, I don't know if I would count that as two, or that's why it's hard to make a list. Um, Wii 50, 51 Wii U, Xbox 52, Xbox 360, 53, 54 Xbox One. Um, the hyper scam uh, list is 55. Then also, I didn't write the Ouya in here, right? Does the Ouya even count? I'm not even gonna count the Ouya, but fuck it, I'll count the Ouya. 
50, like if we want to be 54, 56. Um, and then there's like a couple others. So I don't know. Let's let's say 60, basically. So all right, now getting to the chat. Let's get back to the chat now. What up, Boner Burrito? Oh, Game.com. No, 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 no. That was a list of consoles. I didn't list handhelds. That had nothing to do with handhelds. So, handhelds is a different list. So, keep that in mind. Um, I didn't hear any Tiger Electronics handheld. What kind of list is this? This isn't because it's not a handheld list. You're missing the Soldier Boy console? Yeah, the, well, the fucking Soldier Boy console I ordered from their website and they never sent it to me. And then I sent emails about it and I never got an email back. So, how about that? When did you get an Amiga Play Karate Kid 2 on that? Or Roger Rabbit? Um, yeah, but that's, that's a computer, though. I'm not talking about computers, right? See, I have the Amiga CD32, which is a console. So we're talking about consoles here. Did you say the Xboxes? I did. What about Pong consoles? See, that's, I have, I have, well, there's a bunch of Pong consoles right here. Um, actually, most of the Pong consoles here are Aaron's. I have something that's a Pong console, but like right here, uh, she has an Atari video pinball. Um, I have a lot of her stuff down here too. Um, um, Olympian 2600. And then there's shit all over. I didn't, I'm not listing her. That's that's her shit. Um, he said Sega Master System. Yeah, I said Sega Master System. Is Vectrix a console? Oh, I didn't write Vectrix down. Yeah, I have the Vectrix. See, how the fuck did I forget the Vectrix? Okay, so that's another one. See, I knew I knew this list wasn't gonna be perfect. Yeah, so I, I also have the Vectrex. Do I have the Amstrad GX4000? No, that I do not have. Let me actually. Oh, I have that. That's from 1990. Oh wait, wait, wait. Did you say four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's from uh, 1990. And actually, so I have another list of consoles actually that I don't own. You guys want to hear the list of consoles that I do not own? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you that list. Here, here's the consoles that I know of that exist that I, that I do not have. Here you go. Um, so I do not have the 3DO FC Model 10, and this is as of now, you know, so I might get some of these consoles. The SG-1000, the Video Brain, the Hanamex from 1977, the Adaman Grandstand, Arcadia 2001, the Zemex, the, RD, uh, the RDI Halcon, Halcyon, I guess it's called. I'd love to get one of those if anybody knows where I can get one. The uh, Rolette Video Color, the Gakken TV Boy, the Super Lady Cassette Vision, the um, uh, the PC Engine Shuttle version, I don't have that, the Sharp Famicom, um, the, com the not the Commodore 64. I have a Commodore 64, and that's not listed because that's a computer. But I do not have the console called the Commodore 64 from 1990. And again, if anybody knows where I can get one of those, let me know. Amstrad, Amstrad GX4000, don't have that. The Xamnex Super v, uh, 5, I guess, I don't have that. The, Tan the Tandy, I don't have. The Iowa Mega CD, I don't have that. The Playdia. The Nintendo Satellaview, the Super TV Boy, I don't have. The Apple Pippin. I don't have the Panasonic Q. I do not have the Nuon. I do not have the Zabbix port. I do not have the uh, Gizmo, Gizmodo, Gizmondo, and I do not have the Wii Mini. So there you go. So there's probably other ones on there that, if you if, of all the stuff that I listed, if there's other consoles out of the stuff that I listed that you know of that exist, that is a console, not a computer, not a handheld, that I don't have, send me a tweet, send me an email. All right, guys. Um, Fairchild Channel F? Yes, I have that. Pioneer Laser Active, I have that. Uh, a lot of comments. The Action Max? I don't, okay, that's true, I didn't listen. See, I don't have the Action Max. Um, 
But we did. We, see, we I'll get, I'll probably get one someday. But we did a video on it, so I played it, and it's like Action Max is a piece of shit. But I should own it. Did I say Jizmoto? Yes, Jizz. That is what I said. Okay, anyway, so another thing, real quick, we'll get right back to He-Man, but uh, this is going to be another stream coming up soon. Are you hyped? Are you hyped? So we're going to do that, too. All right. Back to He-Man. Oh, boy. <laughs> See these long breaks I'm taking because I don't really want to play? All right. All right, are we going to fucking fight somebody now? Anything? Anybody? They're just like showing the room. When am I gonna get to like a boss? Thank you, Ancient Dragon, for the sub. What is my Twitter? Well, it's linked below, um, Chronic Gamer. But it is Mike underscore Mate. Don't fall for any of the other fake ones because there's about 400 of them. Just follow the link on my on my Twitch page. Where are these little fuckers? There they are. Did I just get a little energy back? I think I did. Okay. E man, look at this. It's fucking Snake Mountain. So I guess we're actually in Snake Mountain, huh? I like this whole... Look for breakable objects in the environment to open new pathways. Okay. Breakable, I can walk across it or something. Yes. Look at that. Okay. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> this is so poor. Finally. I have not binomical. Is that any good? Because you can't see with the perspective. This game's the camera angles in this game blow. It's like fucking glitched out. Oh my god. What? You have to turn the camera really careful here. There. Can I break this? No. Ugh. G.G. Allen actually wrote a song about this game. It's entitled Dog Shit. Go listen to that song. It's all about this game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Push the fucking button! Ah! Do you think I can just jump back down or like, oh my god, why is this cut 
thing so long. Bitch. It's gone. Thanks, FN Dubs, for the sub. How do you fix an, an itchy pee pee? Um, you subbed and that's what you asked, huh? Any anybody in the chat got an answer for him? He's he's looking he's having trouble and he wants to know. Um, Kid Crash and Benomical both said cut it off. Lee Boy 2K says you dip it in yogurt. Show 9,999 says rub some bacon on it. Okay. Uh, 